Welcome to our lecture, Global Skills Strategy, the Global Talent Stream. This lecture will learn about when employers want to attract top talent to work for their company and they want a fast and predictable process to do this and to help employers find these highly skilled workers faster, IRCC introduced the Global Skills Strategy, GSS. The strategy features faster application processing times, work permit extensions, and enhanced customer service. Foreign nationals eligible for this priority processing must still meet all other eligibility and admissibility requirements, including providing police certificates if required. Eligible applicants must submit all required documents with their application. And if they don't submit the required documents, they will not get the two-week processing time. This is more or less the part of the website with the information of the Global Skill Strategy, and it tells you the step for the process. So the Global Talent String, among other initiatives, this new work string establishes a two-week standard for processing of work permit applications and temporary resident visas, if applicable, for highly skilled talent. The Global Talent Stream is part of the Canada's Temporary Foreign Worker Program. And in this strategy, the categories that we need to revise under the Global Talent Stream. On one side, you have the high growth companies that can demonstrate a need to recruit unique, specialized talent from abroad to fall under category A. Employers in this category must be referred to the Global Talent Stream by designated referral partner. Category B is for employers looking to hire certain highly skilled foreign workers for occupations found on the Global Talent Occupation List, which have been determined to be in demand and for which there is insufficient domestic labor supply. So the A and the B, that's the two categories that you're going to find under the Global Talent Stream and the definition state what type of worker can apply under each category. Category A. As of August 13, 2018, the list of designated referral partners for employers located outside of Quebec include the following organizations. This list may be updated periodically, and this is the list of the partner organization that can refer employers to participate in this program. For the category A specifically, you have the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, the BC Tech Association, the Business Development Bank of Canada, the Canadian Economic Development for Quebec Regions, the City of Harmington's Economic Development Office, the Community Tech Corporation, the Council of Canadian Innovators, the Economic Development Winnipeg, the Edmonton Economic Development, the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario. You have Genesis in Newfoundland, Global Affairs Canada Trade Commission on Service, Covering of Alberta, Alberta Level, Covering of British Columbia, Ministry of Jobs, Trade and Technology, the Government of Manitoba, Manitoba Education and Training, Government of Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia Business Incorporated, Government of Ontario, Ministry of the Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, and the Government of Ontario, Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, Ontario Investment Office. You also can find the Government of Prince Edward Island in the Island Investment Development Incorporated, the Government of Saskatchewan, Ministry of the Economic. We also find the Halifax Partnership, the ICT Association of Manitoba, the Innovation Science and Economic Development Canada, Accelerated Growth Service, Invest Ottawa, Invest in Canada, London Economic Development Corporation, the Mars Discovery District, the National Research Council, Industrial Research Assistance Program. So these are the organizations that can be referred for employers interested in taking advantage of the new strategy. You also can find the Ontario Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration, the Ontario Ministry of Economic Development and Growth, the Private Council Office Special Projects Team, 
Vancouver Economic Commission, VEN Innovation, the Waterloo Region Economic Development Corporation, the Windsor X Economic Development Corporation, and for the list of designated referral partners located in Quebec for the Global Talent String, employees from Quebec are invited to consult the Quebec Ministry of Immigration, Diversity and Inclusion website, and this website is going to be in French only. When it comes to category B, where we have the occupations with the NOC code, by NOC, the occupation, and also the minimum hourly rate and the minimum annual salary. And this is important that those occupations need to meet wage rates or prevailing wage, as it's called, for them to qualify on this program. So we have from engineering managers, architecture and science managers, we have computer and information system managers, computer engineers, except for software engineers and designers, mathematicians and statisticians, information system anal analysts and consultants, database analysts and data administrators, software engineers and designers, computer programmers and interactive media developers, web designers and developers, and information system testing technicians. More information also in the subcategory for producer, technical, creative, and artistic director or project manager for visual effect and video game. So the video game is one of the main industries in Canada. As you can see here, the 3606 or higher per hour or 75,000 annually salary. Um, for digital media and design, 38.46 per hour or 80,000 Canadian dollars as a salary per year. So these are the requirements. As far as you meet those requirements, you'll be able to participate in the program. Employers in both categories are required to make conditions relating to the payment of the skilled workers. Foreign workers hired through the GTS must be paid at the prevailing wage or higher. The prevailing wage is defined as the highest figure of either the median wage or the occupation of the Government of Canada Job Bank, the wage within the range an employer pays current employees in the same position at the same location with the same skills and experience, and the minimum wage floor as defined in the Global Talent Occupation List, if applicable. Okay, so this, these are the criteria that you need to take into consideration in order for the employer to be able to pay the foreign worker and meet the prevailing wage uh, definition. Wages for the global talent stream. Employer must commit to pay the highest of either an annual salary of at least 80,000 or an annual salary equivalent to the prevailing wage for the occupation if it's higher than 80,000 for the first two unique and specialized positions requested under the category A. For two or more unique and specialized positions requested under category A or an annual salary equivalent to the prevailing wage for the occupation, if it's higher than $150,000 per year. The ESDC said that there is no flexibility in the application of the wage requirement for additional positions being requested under the category A. If applicable minimum wage for the occupation for a highly skilled position requested under the category B is as identified in the global talent occupation list. The wage that is within the wage range that the employer is paying current employees hired for the same job and work location and with the same skills and years of experience or the median wage of the, on the Government of Canada Job Bank, the median wage is listed by the job title or National Occupational Classification NLC or NOC code in the middle column by community or areas in Canada Job Bank. So you need to take that into consideration. So when you're negotiating with your employer, and you qualify under this category, he needs to understand that he need to meet the requirement of the wage payment. They have to meet the program uh, expectations. Global Talent Stream in Quebec. To apply, Innovative Quebec companies will be able to turn to one of the three partners scenarios by the Quebec Ministry of Immigration, Diversity and Inclusion. Those institutions are Investment Quebec, Montreal International, or Quebec International. So the three institution partners that you can work with you 
are looking to work on this program in the province of Quebec. Quebec employers can also submit application for positions on the Global Talent Occupation List. This list of occupations was developed in collaboration with all provinces and territories, including Quebec. And here we have the chart with the occupations for the Quebec side. And we have computer information system managers, computer engineers, as well as software engineers and designers. We have the information system analysts and consultants that are by analysts and data administrators, software engineers and designers, computer programmers and interactive media de developers, web designers and developers, electrical and electronic engineering technologies of technicians, information system te testing technicians, producers, directors, choreographers and related occupations, and digital media and design, positions requiring a minimum of five years industry experience and a specific skill only, and as you can see, you also can see the minimum hourly rate expected for these positions and the minimum annual salary for those positions. So I hope you find this in topic interesting. I uh, suggest so you to check the link included in the lecture. And we hope you enjoyed this lecture. See you in the next one. Thank you very much.